Hi everyone, our subject today is cough in pediatric. The medical history should include a neonatal history and assessment for immune deficiency. An environmental history should include inquiries about potential irritant, wood burning, stove smoke, perfume, scented candle, incense. The review of the system should include respiratory and non-respiratory symptoms. For example, poor growth and maladders stool could be an associated with the cystic fibrosis, halitosis, and headache may be associated with sinusitis. Inquire specifically about any recent choking episode as well as any seasonal variation of symptoms and relationship of symptoms to feeding. A family history for asthma and other atopic condition and cystic fibrosis may be helpful. How to approach to a child with cough after performing history and physical examination it, if it is acute or chronic. A chronic, two to three weeks or recurrent. Acute, less than two weeks. Uh, is there sign or symptoms suggestive of infection, fever, nasal discharge? If it is yes, chest examination either normal or abnormal. If the chest examination are abnormal, this is maybe bronchiolitis, pneumonia, bronchitis. If there is normal chest examination, is there suspected and complicated upper respiratory tract infection, nasal irritation and discharge, sneezing with or without low grade fever? If it is yes, this is upper respiratory tract infection. If it is no, other signs or symptoms suggestive of diagnosis, 10 to 14 days, nasal discharge, sinus tenderness, and facial pain. This is acute bacterial rhinosinusitis. Citrider, parking quality to cough, nocturnal worsening of symptom. This is crew. Paroxysmal postusive emesis, whooping quality to cough. This is pertussis. Neurologically impaired. This is aspiration pneumonia. Prolonged sputum production, ronchi, this is pneumonia, bronchitis, tracheobronchitis. If there is no sign or symptom suggestive of uh, infection, this is suspected foreign body present, uh, aspiration, a perpet onset, a history of choking episode, localized lung finding, with or without toddler age group. If it is yes, consider chest x-ray versus rigid bronchoscopy, this is foreign body. If it is no, or it is a chronic or recurrent. Uh, if it is a chronic or recurrent, is there any of the following present failure to thrive, frequent infection, systemic symptom, diffuse lymphadenopathy? In this case, patient need Chest X-ray, consider sweat chloride test, uh, tuberculin skin test, uh, uh, HIV test, immune deficiency workup. This will be discussed in another video. This differential diagnosis include atypical pneumonia, cystic fibrosis, HIV, tuberculosis, gastroesophageal reflex, immune deficiency, mediastinal disorder, dysmotile cilia, pulmonary sequestration and bronchiectasis. If there is no any sign or symptom of failure to thrive or frequent infection or lymph diffuse lymphadenopathy, is there any sign of symptom suggestive of diagnosis? If it is yes, will be discussed uh, soon. If it is no, consider chest x-ray, tuberculin skin test with or without chest CT. Uh, differential diagnosis may include foreign body, post-infection cough syndrome, asthma, vascular ring or sling, habit cough, external ear canal, irritation, atypical pneumonia, mycoplasma pneumonia, chlamydia pneumonia, mediastinal disorder, congestive heart failure, miscellaneous lung disease, or medications. If it is acute, acute cough, 
is there sign of septum suggestive of the diagnosis or it is chronic with sign of septum suggestive of the diagnosis is there history of trauma pulmonary contusion or pulmonary embolism is there associated with feeding reflex symptoms the aspiration or gastroesophageal reflex is there environmental exposure this is inhaled irritant hypersensitivity pneumonia is there a prolonged nasal discharge sinus tenderness this is acute bacterial rhinosinusitis is there cough exacerbated by exercise frequent nocturnal cough positive family history of asthma this is of course asthma is there sneezing itching of eye watery rhinorrhea this is allergic rhinitis recommended investigation in child with cough full blood count leukocytosis suggest bacterial infection common in asthma eosinophilia in allergy uh, sputum for culture from children with the productive cough lung function test spirometry and peak flow measurement chest x-ray is a very helpful in diagnosing pneumonia foreign body ct scan of the lung to diagnose bronchiectasis a sweat chloride test if cystic fibrosis is suspected bronchoscopy for an explained cough gastric ph study for cases suspected of having gastroesophageal reflex top tips cough is usually self-limited and the focus should be directed at the cause of the cough not at the symptom cough educate parent that cough medicines are unlikely to help children with cough children with cough is rarely productive therefore the term wet cough rather than productive cough is more appropriate although wheezing with cough is usually present in asthma cough may be the only symptom which characteristically worsening with the activity and at night if the cough is persist uh, and diagnosis has not been established a trial with the bronchodilator is worthwhile sometime inhaled steroid is helpful protracted bacterial bronchitis is commonly found in young children with a chronic cough that worsen when changing posture there is no abnormality on physical examination or on chest x-ray the condition improve on antibiotic for two weeks in a child with pertussis like cough who is fully immunized adenovirus and other viruses may have caused the illness the classic whoop is often not present in immunized children children with the bronchiectasis present with a chronic wet cough recurrent chest infection and often with the intermittent perilent sputum and hemoptysis finger clubbing and crackles on chest auscultation are often found all children with a chronic cough should have lung function test chest x-ray and oxygen saturation performed a psychogenic or habit cough is typical loud and repetitive often seen as a throat clearing absent during the sleep and unresponsive to any medication a duration may be a few weeks or months red flag the possibility of foreign body always has be to be considered with the chronic and unexplained cough in young children if missed bronchiectasis is likely to ensure a child who present with cough on exertion only cough have asthma peak flow measurement before and after exercise with and without a bronchodilator will help establish the diagnosis a severe coughing paroxysm causing high intrathoracic pressure and reduced venous return manifest as a red face may result in cerebral hypoxia and syncope cases of protracted bacterial bronchitis is often misdiagnosed as asthma resulting in persistent of symptoms that can lead to bronchiectasis 
An underweight child with a chronic cough should undergo sweat test to exclude cystic fibrosis. Children with developmental delay may present with a persistent cough due to aspiration and aspiration pneumonia. The cough can mimic and be misdiagnosed as asthma or bronchitis. Thank you for your listening.